Well, thanks for coming. That's a, a big win. I want to, uh, first of all, thank our uh, Buckeye Nation for supporting us the way they did. A great crowd, and, and uh, we felt like that was our home stadium. Uh, second of all, a lot of respect for Navy. Best thing about this game, we won. It's in the rearview mirror. It seemed like we've been working on this thing forever. And what you saw a little bit uh, throughout the course of the game was what I saw during practice, that you know, every once in a while they're going to get one on you because they execute so well. Their quarterback's a heck of a player. Um, JT, I thought did okay. You know, I thought uh, great him a B, I think, and uh, we'll evaluate the film. Uh, he, uh, you know, every new player is going to have a certain amount of mistakes. We wanted it to open up a little bit more in the, in the first half, and we didn't. It wasn't because of him. It was because our offensive line. We had a couple uh, mistakes in there, penalties and sack, and we just can't do that. So, obviously, with the uh, team we have playing next, uh, we have a lot of work to do, but uh, we'll take this win. I'm very proud of our guys for uh, fighting through, you know, the second half and doing what they did. Oh, we're very disappointed. You know, there's a standard set of offensive line play for many, many years, and, and it's really been enhanced by uh, our line coach, Ed Warner, in the last two years. And it was didn't resemble an offensive line at Ohio State the first uh, two quarters. And I'm being, you know, hard on them, but uh, I think they played much better second half. But we'll, we'll evaluate the film, and we have to settle in on a starting five. And, and uh, we have to play much better if we're going to, you know, make a dent in uh, the Big Ten Conference. So um, that, I, I just think the offense line, we expect them to play much better. I'll go ahead and call on people. Front row left, Bill. What did you think was the turning point? Typically in the fourth quarter, was it maybe the Elliott's fourth and one play? It was that close, yeah. Um, we, we, there, there's a, I'm not going to, there's a, a bundle of mistakes that were made. Even on that fourth and one, we're reading that guy that made the tackle. So there's a, uh, bundle of mistakes that were made. Uh, the biggest issue, not to just jump around on you, uh, Bill, is but the first half we're down in the red zone three times. And a year ago, I think we were number one in the country, the last two years, I think probably number one in the country in scoring offense in the red zone, or certainly one, two, or three. And we didn't resemble, once again, what we expect to be, and whether it's lack of Carlos Hyde, lack of offensive line. So the turning point was, I think, uh, the, the uh, Darren Lee fumble return. Uh, the fact that our defense kept everything in check, even when uh, I went for and fourth down, we did not get it. And they, you know, uh, we just were just playing good defense and giving us a chance to go take the lead. Play. Yeah, probably not interested in scheduling them again. Just this one of a kind offense. No, that one was snuck in without any input from Coach Meyer. <laughs> no input. No, uh, missed, no rematch. Well, I just, uh, I mean, that's. That's a good team. Obviously, they won nine games a year ago, and they'll win that many or more this year. And just a lot of respect for who they are. I always have. When I was at the Notre Dame. That was the worst week of the year every year when you played Navy. And there's some kind of expectation out there. Oh, you'll just beat Navy. You're like, wait a minute now. Um, so, uh, very. I'm gonna just once again. Best thing about it, it's in the rearview mirror, and we won. The 370 that you gave up. On the yeah, I didn't notice that. Does it correlate next week? Is that it's a whole different deal? Hold, just completely throw this game plan out, and it uh, starts from scratch. I didn't realize that. We, we, the thing we did do was pretty good field position. The 370, they only scored, I'm not sure what the final score was, but uh, what was it? 34 17. You know, that doesn't equate, but it's a lot of the times they had to drive a long ways and uh, usually got stopped or maybe a turnover. Front row, Tim. Yeah, Urban, did you, did you feel like at the end you settled on an offensive line a little bit with Billy Price at right guard? I mean, uh, Jacoby? Well, that's where we started. And then uh, we, we, Joe Hill, I think, did it, went and did okay. Yeah. So we're still, that's still, we're going to, we'll know more. I'll let you know on Monday. All right, Urban, um, can you shed a little bit of light? I know you guys rotated a lot of, of guys on all positions, but a little bit of light on the safety battle between Cam Burroughs and, and Vaughn and maybe why you arrived at, at starting Cam and, and you know, what you saw out of both guys. Yeah, I think. Uh, you know, I think that's. Uh, I, I think they're co-starters. It's a little bit like our group of wide receivers. You see a steady rotation of uh, guys running in and out. Like, who's the starting H? Is it Jalen or is it Dontre? It's it's both of them. And same thing at the wide receiver, Mike Thomas and uh, Evan Spencer and and Corey Smith and uh, uh, Devin Smith. So uh, we got a lot of confidence. And like I said, we have to spray the ball a little bit more around than we did today. And with Curtis Samuel too. Uh, yeah, he. I think he did pretty good. I don't know. Really expect more out of him. Seven carries for 45 yards, six and a half yards per carry. One thing, I, I, he's gonna has a really nice future here. Is he your best running back? Is he our best running back? I, I think they're Urban, good, pretty good ones. When you have so many new guys on offense, starting in places. 
I think uh, right before the game, because uh, we knew Jeff was going to play minimal plays, he's still getting. I, I, the good news is it's better and better. Uh, we had nine new starters on offense. That's not a normal transition. So and it's difficult to call plays going and take, settle into a routine and know it. All these new guys are doing to call plays to their strength. First half was tough. First half was tough. We kind of settled in that we only ran about four or five plays in the second half. And one was that little hand sweep to one of the H backs. Uh, then we had other fly. We faked the sweep to the H back and the downhill run. And then the play action pass. It was obviously we hit a home run on one, but that was the same pass we called earlier to hit the Dontre Wilson. So, oh my goodness, that was just all, all bad. That's minus, minus, minus. You know, it was a uh, we got pulled up quickly in that kind of situation. Throw it up into, you know, three F. Back row, gentlemen, in the striped shirt. Coach, um, you just mentioned the interception. What kind of demeanor did you see from? JT when he came off the sideline, what was his demeanor? And he seemed to bounce back pretty nice. And what did you see in his eyes? You know? He was good. You know, I never felt that he was uh, uh, rattled. You know, I, I mean, I was, I, I counted the ten backwards a couple of times. I didn't say what I normally would say to a quarterback who does that, which is good. We all mature, I guess. So, but his demeanor was great. He's a great kid, and he'll get better and better and better. Second row, middle, Bill. Had to do it. Had to do it. We should have. We actually called one near the end too because they're just putting them all. And that's going to be happen next week. Now they're they're no Virginia Tech's not shy about it. So the good thing is we have the personnel now. We have a little more comfort. And the, once again, it wasn't lack of confidence in JT. It was lack of confidence in the protection. A couple more questions. Second, uh, third row, Doug. Urban, last year seemed like if you had a tough third down or fourth down, you could go with Carlos behind that line or go with Braxton. Like, what, do you have a bread and butter right now? No. No, we, we settled. There was two, like I said, to, to, run, to win the game, we ran basically two plays. Uh, it was the Dontre play and it was the inside zone to either uh, Zeke Elliott, Rod Smith, or, um, or Curtis with the, with the motion. But we have not settled on that, no. And did, was there any moment today where somebody was doing something or not doing something and you thought, I miss Braxton? Oh, I always miss because a lot of times great players like that will pull out of something. But yeah, I mean, I didn't physically think about that uh, d d during the course of the game. But you miss great players, and obviously Braxton's a great player. And the last question, gentlemen in the second row. Coach, what did you say about the whole the tradition of the game today? With what awesome. Well, we won, so you can enjoy it. Um, I've coached against Navy for a long time. You know, I thought their uniforms are great. I, I had my son take a look at all the white, uh, you know, men and women who represent the the Navy Academy. Uh, I thought it was awesome. And uh, I'm once again, best thing about this one, it happened. We won. Show great respect and get out of Dodge fast for it. They changed their minds. Have a great day.